In this video, we are going to discuss about the basic concepts of ITIL. So, what are the basic concepts, what are the terminologies and what are the definitions for the basic concepts. So, we will see the basic concepts, the service and service owner. So, what is a service and what is its definition and who is the service owner and also service management. So, what exactly is service management and who, which team is responsible for the service and you can see process and process owner. So, what is the process, what is the definition of the process and which team will be documenting the processes or will be updating the process book so that the organization follows that process to get the desired results. Coming to the functions, staffs and roles. So, functions are nothing but a service desk or a change management team or an incident management team which functions for these results as well as give the value for the customer to get it, their desired results and also who, who is the staff responsible for what approvals and what are the roles and responsibilities of that staff. So coming to metrics and interfaces, what by what metrics we design this process and what are the interfaces we use and RACI responsibility, accountability, consulted informed matrix. That means when anything is initiated in the ITIL, so this comes into picture and the program manager, the line of service manager will come into picture here. So what is PDCA? What PDCA is plan, do, check and act. So how this is planned, how it is action, how it is do and how it is checked. So it's like do a checker process, mainly IT people will be very, uh, very informed about this about do a checker process. So coming to compliance and governance. So what is a compliance and what are the governance we will be going to see in the next slides and you can also see the concepts of caps. So coming in detail with the service we can see service means delivering value to the customer by achieving the customer desired results while working with given constraints. So here coming to the definition it is clearly telling us that by achieving the desired results of the client or the customer we provide us the service to them. So here what exactly it is by taking an example of an internet service. So when an internet service provider approaches to provide the internet service to us, so he or his team will approach us and ask us to sign a bond on a paper to get it. So here by writing on that bond we are abiding to all the terms and conditions of that service. So the customer whenever is having a problem like when we are having a problem with the internet service we call the customer care and inform them about what exactly is happening. Sometimes the login page will not be loaded and in sometimes nothing comes up when internet or router is switched on. So that is that is called desired value which we are expecting and that is called the result which they are providing exactly. So coming to service owner, it might be an individual or a team which is responsible towards customer for a given service. So in this case, if you take the same example of an internet service provider, he promised us a better service with, the, with our expected results. So here the individual or team, the troubleshooting team or the support team, entire team is responsible for our internet service to get in on track. So here responsibility comes in various phases initiation of a ticket, transition of a ticket, ongoing maintenance and support. If it is already an ongoing or a planned maintenance, it will be informed us prior over an email or an SMS. So coming to monitoring, reporting and identifying improvement areas, after, after the issue got fixed, they monitor it for 24 hours or 48, 48 hours based on their processes and they identify the improvement areas where they can improve to provide the be better value to us so that our desired results like desired results here in the sense that we clearly know that we took 10 Mbps of speed. So when we purchase the internet service, he or his team, the support team will promise us to give the 10 up to 10 Mbps. So it might vary in time to time based on the traffic of the internet. So here you can see accountable for service, primary customer contact for the service. So who, which team is accountable and they will be improving their areas and they also give us the primary customer contact so whom to reach in your area to get the service back online and you when you come into the service management team a set of specialized organization capabilities which help us providing value so this in the sense is the management will take considerations about 
any uh, important things or any hardware needs to be changed. So, in the same case, if we take a internet service provider, so if an internet service provider is has pulled the connection from a switch nearby your hub, so that he pulls the connection and he inserts into your uh, broadband connection. So, from there if there, is, if there is any problem, he has to replace the switch or a hub, so that he can get the desired results which you are expecting. The next concept is process. What exactly a process is? A process is a set of activities which are carried out in a given manner to achieve the desired objective. So, process is a set of rules or a set of a procedure to follow to get the desired objective or the result of a service. So, here you can see a process is measurable, yields desired result, delivers result to customers, responds to specific events or requirements. So, here the process is a step by step of a procedure to follow to get the desired result. So, we discuss about the process owner now. The process owner, an individual or a team responsible for help in design of documentation of processes. That means, this team will edit or amend or re-edit the present process to get the desired result. So, they design the processes here. So, also ensure it being performed as per documentation. So, for every process there is a documentation. So, that documentation has to be performed for each and every task which takes place in the IT industry. So, it also ensures that yields the desired end results. So, based on this the end results should be matched. So, that means if the end results are not matching the processes can be amended a number of times. Overall continual improvement of process. So, this team will be responsible for day to day activities of this and they also check the documentation of each and every ticket which raised. Defining and reviewing KPIs that means it, it, it measures based on the tools and judge the processes are correct or not. So, coming to the next one is a function. It is a group of people and their tools used to carry out one or more process or activities. The best example for this function is service desk team. So, if we take a service desk team in the same example as an internet service provider, when you do not get an internet in your house, you call up the service desk, right? So, in that service desk, this is a functional team, is a group of people and they use some tools to carry out one or more process or activities to check. So, when you call for not getting an internet in your home, they ask you to perform some basic troubleshooting steps. So, those are the set of processes for the reoccurring of some issues. And if you come to staff, the personnel who are assigned to carry out specific tasks or activities. So, here coming to staff, in the same case, after troubleshooting, the support team will assign this ticket or assign your contact to a staff person or a support person who is on field. So, he will call you and he will be responsible for your activities which are not getting as a result for you. Coming to roles, a set of authorities, responsibilities and activities assigned to individual or personal. So, if that person is capable of having all these roles and responsibilities, he will be rectifying your problem and if anything is has to come from the approval of the higher management, he will be getting that approval from them. So, coming to the next concept is metrics or KPIs. So, as I said the metrics is nothing but a measurable unit which judges the process are correct to get the result, result of your internet service. A measurement unit which imparts an ability to judge the performance of a service. So, this is a measurement unit which measures the process to judge that the process is correct to get the desired result here. Coming to interfaces, the overlaps or linkages between two or more processes or processes exchange data via this linkages. So, this means here the interface means the two processes which are linked to each other to give us the desired results. So, in this case the data can be exchanged that means the input and output can be exchanged via these linkages.